In the last part, we started setting up our view pager for the share activity, which is this middle section here. So this, this is the test app that I made. It's this middle section. We click here, and it should be able to access our phone's memory. So you can see it's able to look through my phone's memory. These aren't uh, labeled properly. Like Really, it should be just snipping out screenshots, Facebook, Messenger, but it's displaying the entire image path that needs to be fixed still. Um, but looks uh, pretty good overall. And why can't I get it? There we go. And so you can scroll through all the images in that directory, and then you can like choose an choose an image, and it will display here. <laughs> and uh, you can hit next up here, and it will actually take you to the final part where you're ready to write a caption and actually share it. So, and then the other tab is photos, where you would just click this. It opens the camera, and you can see that there we go. That is me holding the camera, and uh, yeah. So that's what we're going to get started on in this one. We're going to basically start building the gallery and building the photo fragment. So we'll start by, I guess, let's make the gallery because it's easier. So new layout file, and we're just going to go fragment gallery. Or uh, no, photo one's easier. Let's do photo one first because all it is is the, the button to open up the camera. So fragment photo, and we're going to change this to a relative layout and get rid of this dirty old orientation and just create a button and do uh, match parent and wrap content and let's center that horizontally so center horizontal true x size 30 sp and just do the text we'll do open camera and I know I haven't been adding all of my strings to my resource file so I'm going to try and start doing that so string open camera we'll call that one you should always add them to your uh, resource file because if you ever want to create an app in a different language or something, Android will actually automatically convert everything in this file to the other language. You don't have to do anything, so that's really nice. Because if you hard code things in, it won't convert it for you. And also, too, just for ease, like if you want to change uh, a message here or a message there or whatever, you can just go into the strings file and change it instead of you know working through. Imagine going through all of these files and looking for. Uh, this like one string that you wanted to change it would be a nightmare uh, so let's do margin top of 30 dp actually 40 40 dp and margin uh, right margin right of 30 dp and margin left of 30 dp and background let's do the white rounded button and that's pretty much it. So like I said, this was a pretty simple layout. We just basically have a button and we need to give the an ID to the button as a last step here. So button, launch, camera, that's it. We can go, uh, actually we never made that fragment yet so we won't, we'll just leave that. We can close activity share, we can close the tabs and now let's start working on our gallery fragment. So we'll create uh, relative layout, get rid of the orientation down here let's create we're going to split this up into a bunch of relative layouts like we usually do so this one is going to be rel layout one and inside rel layout one i'm going to have a gallery toolbar so let's put a comment gallery toolbar because i haven't made that yet and then another relative layout and this can be match parent and match parent oh or should i use a linear layout yeah i'm actually going to use a linear layout because I want uh, I want the let me see if I can bring that preview back up. So I want this kind of this big image view section here um, to take up I don't know maybe uh, sixty percent of the layout and then the grid to take up the rest. So we can use a linear layout and a weight sum to divide it. So we'll create a weight sum. I have the sum equal to hundred and do orientation of vertical and set this below relative layout one and that should be all we need to do in here so then in here we can do uh, a relative layout which is going to hold the image view and also the progress bar so do match parent and match parent and this is going to be that big image view that i just uh, kind of showed you in that demo right there and this is going to be gallery image view so that's going to be like the selected image we can set a center crop for the image and let's see then we need to do a progress bar and 100 dp by 100 dp so it's 
pretty big one, and I'm just gonna give it an ID of progress bar. And let's see, center in parent, true. And this guy, this is not gonna take up. Yeah, so here is where we want to say, set this to zero DP, and we say weight uh, 60. So it's gonna take up 60% of that layout. And then below here, we're gonna put our grid view and match parent, and then zero DP once again. And we can do the weight, and we wanna occupy the rest of that, so 40% left. And we'll give it an ID of grid view. Whoops. And what else? Let's do a uh, number of columns with five, vertical spacing, one DP, same with horizontal spacing, one DP, and stretch mode, none, gravity, uh, or wait, that's layout gravity. No, I want just gravity. Gravity, that'll be center. And I already have the layout weight think that's everything I need, maybe a little margin, margin top of just one DP to separate the image and the grid. So then, so the grid will have spacing between each item on the top and the bottom of one DP, and then we'll have a little space on the top here. So that should be pretty good. I think that's pretty much what this looks like. Yeah, so you can see a tiny little space there, and you can see space between all the images here. They're all, they're mostly white, so you can't really see a lot, but okay, so that's it. Now I'm just gonna quickly create the uh, two fragments for these layouts. So let's go, I can just copy any fragment, home fragment. So I'm gonna copy home fragment here because it's pretty much empty and paste it into share here. And this one's gonna be photo fragment. And we just need to change the, the log up here and change this to fragment photo. And now we're gonna copy that, paste and share gallery fragment. And the same sort of thing, we just whoops, want to change the log and change this to gallery fragment. And we can log that it's started and same thing with in photo here. So D started. And let's go into share activity now and set up our view pager so we can uncomment all this. And now we'll add the fragments. It'll set the text and it looks like it'll probably work. So let's run it and see if we get any errors. Okay, so we'll go to share activity, and we have uh, that loading. That looks all right. And we can go over to the second tab over here. We have our camera. Obviously this does nothing, and the progress bar is there because we haven't made it invisible. But everything looks like it's working the way it should. If I actually swipe on the device, this is my actual device, it looks like it's working. So yeah, it looks like it's good. So in the next one, I'll either start setting up the photo fragment or we'll, we'll um, go and start setting up the gallery. So I'll see you guys in the next video.